We are all different in many different ways. We all experience life on different levels and can all be exposed to similar circumstances. But what makes us as humans so special is how uniquely different those similar circumstances can affect us. Out of the millions of people in this world, here's one person's story. You will not find a happy ending or romantic interludes. There will be no heroes to save the day, nor will justice prevail. You will see nothing more than the rawness of the world narrated to you by an individual seeing the world through her own eyes. Take a glimpse into a small portion of her life and bear witness to the transformation from a young girl to a young woman. And take notice of her biases, her jadedness, and her level of sensitivity. She will share with you her triumphs and her heartaches, all delivered, absent of emotion. The incidents here are not relevant. The outcomes warrant neither approval nor rebuttal. People are not important in this story. Relationships are inconsequential. And our heroine is nothing more than a tiny thread in a largely woven tapestry. For these reasons, She Has No Name. My name is Angelique LaFontaine, author of She Has No Name. This is a very unique story from what I normally write. The topics of this book cover abuse, violence, betrayal, and abandonment. Although those are serious topics and should never be taken lightly, the substance of this book is more about human behavior. The frequently used phrase, don't judge a person until you've walked in their shoes, was the premise for this book. I attempted to remove emotion from the story and focus only on the actions and decisions made by this individual with the intent of hoping this will encourage people to take pause before they pass judgment. The story is delivered to you in a format of a memoir, and the individual in this book has no name, but there are many out there who do. I hope you enjoy this book, and I hope it delivers to you its intended purpose. Until then, as always, my devotions to you, dear reader.